Alright, first thing I'm gonna have to first thing I'm gonna do is install the strong mount. I went ahead and ordered the optional strong mount for this. So not only will this get it higher up, but spread that weight out or the load out over this this little tabletop here on this bench. And it'll allow me to still get access to my drawers. You always want access to your drawers. Okay, instructions tell me to go ahead and bolt the actual press to it first. That's what I shall do. So, installed the press to the strong mount brackets. Now the next step is to put it in position wherever you want it, the edge of the workbench, and mark the holes, drill them, and bolt it in place with these guys. So I just need to figure out where I want it on this bench. Now I'm going to drill four holes for the strong mount, 5 sixteenths bit. Alright, so I've just finished bolting the strong mount to my cobalt workbench here. And, you know, it didn't really give you any specs on how close to the edge. With the strong mount, you can see you got clearance. I can now get to my drawers. It's not going to hang over the, the side of it. Uh, I went one inch in this way and a little bit further in this way just because there are some metal rails underneath. And also we got the power bar right o over there, so that's how I spaced it out on the right side of the bench. Let's we'll see how it works out. It's all up to you, though. All right, I opted for one little extra goodie here, the little tool kit, the bracket. It's gonna. I gotta take these two bolts back out, mount it on here. Wish I'd known that first. Save me a step. So there you go. If you got this thing, save yourself a step and go ahead and mount it up. Alright, so the strong mount comes with its own uh, cartridge chute, which actually is going to install this way, right above the, the D on the logo. But I also ordered the empty cartridge bracket, so I can have two bins here, one for my empty cartridge to make it a little easier. So you want to install these at the same time, otherwise just be taking the chute right back. There it is. So 
now. Okay, so I got my ergonomic handle installed. You see, I have a washer on this side and washer on this side with the locking nut. You can still see plenty of clearance. Mm, need no knees. Alright, install the old primer catch right there. And this bin will be for the cartridges, the empty cartridges. This will be for the finished ammo and it dispenses. So we're getting there. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and install over the optional bullet tray, so I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. Alright, so the bullet tray is installed. Let's see if I can maybe use it. Alright, I'm going to stick the shell plate in, number side up. Next comes the index sprocket on top of the shell plate. We're going to make sure the locator posts go into the corresponding holes in the shell plate. So if you can see there's the what we're talking about there. Ka-chow. Now we're going to insert the I'll insert the shell plate bolt through the sprocket. Tighten it all the way down. Make sure I wasn't cross threading it. All the way down, and then I'm gonna back it off. It's just slightly. I don't know what that means. I'll do maybe quarter turn. Let's check this thing. Yep. Yeah, maybe a little more. There we go. Nope. Jammed up. Why is it getting jammed up? Oh, because I keep tightening it, duh duh. Dummy. Damn. Ow. Right, all the way, loosen it up slightly. All right, it says, rotate plate you should be able to feel in here, the index ball click. No looseness or slop at this point. Okay, we'll raise it up. We're gonna install and start. I'm gonna raise it up and we're gonna insert this set screw in here, see if I can do it with this camera in the way. Camera slightly in the way. But, do the set screw here, this is what's going to hold that bolt that we just installed in place. Brass tip on the end. Okay, that'll keep that from backing off. Okay. Install the locator buttons. There it is. That part is done. Right, one thing the instructions don't show you is 
the spring is going to be loose. So you want to get the cartridge that you're going to be loading, throw one in, and adjust this little spring here. It's about a, make a touch of cartridge and then bring it back uh, about a business card width. And then just snug up this guy right there. There it is so far. Only thing I have left to do is I need to change out from large primer it comes with, set up to feed large primers, and you change out small primer. So I'm gonna start out with 40 cal, Smith and Wesson, and of course get all the dies in place, get the you know get the powder feed set up, powder measure. Uh, set up properly and uh, go from there. Boom.